Vetiver grass is native to India, but now exists on all continents with tropical and subtropical conditions. It is interesting to find this plant all over the world, because it is in fact sterile. Its transport and distribution could only have occurred in one way therefore, and that is intentionally, by man. The reason for this is because of the plant's usefulness to control and improve many land and water related challenges. It is also popular for its use in crafts making, medicinally, and the sweet earthy fragrance of the roots make it valuable for essential oil extraction and perfume making. Because of its very wide range of environmental benefits and other human uses, vetiver is called by many who are familiar with it, the miracle grass. Vetiver is propagated manually through cuttings. More than 50 years ago, John Greenfield devised the vetiver system, which is essentially the methods of preparation and the planting formations and patterns to achieve the best results in land rehabilitation and improvement through soil and water conservation. The roots of vetiver grass can grow up to 3 meters vertically in the first two years, by which time the plant is mature. Individual cuttings planted 10 centimeters apart and on contour quickly form a continual hedge above the ground, and below the ground a dense curtain of deep and fibrous roots. This stabilizes slopes, and the above ground hedge captures all loose topsoil and sediments, and greatly slows down water runoff. This reduces erosion, promotes local soil moisture and groundwater recharge, and helps to mitigate flooding downstream. Laboratory experiments have shown that a vetiver hedge can hold up to 30 centimeters of water behind it, due to the density and stiffness of its leaves and stalks. Here in Trinidad, we have already done much groundwork to begin creating an educational and distribution platform for the vetiver system. We have planted several nurseries to begin multiplying vetiver stock around the country, and have carried out several small independent projects for land rehabilitation and improvement. Our primary focus for this project will be the hillside farming communities of Paramin and Cameron in the northern range of Trinidad, where farmers can experience the direct benefits of stabilized land, safe walking paths, erosion protection, topsoil conservation and water retention on the land. Our early casual sharing of the vetiver system with these and other communities around the country has already been met with eager enthusiasm and we look forward to taking it to the next step. We believe that a well-planned and documented project would be useful to convey the benefits of the vetiver system locally and perhaps expand its use to other environmental challenges the nation faces, such as deforested hillside rehabilitation, infrastructure protection, landslides and flooding, and could facilitate the repetition of similar projects locally or regionally. Thank you.